Hello guys, in this video I am going to talk about the iteration protocol in the Python programming language. So to understand the iteration protocol, you first need to understand um, the three terms which are iteration, the iterable and the iterator. Right? So in the natural language you must be understanding that an iteration is the process of taking um, one element at a time from a given sequence of objects. right? like in a for loop what you do is nothing but an iteration because you take one element at a time from your sequence and you do some uh, you can say any kind of execution with it right so that is called an iteration then there comes an iterable so an iterable is an object which is iterable right so it i mean to say that an iterable is an object over which you can do some iteration like in a for loop you can iterate over a list or a tuple right so that's an iterable okay so let's come to the last term which is an iterator so an iterator is an object which defines how to do iteration over the iterable right so what iteration protocol states is that um, any iterator in the python programming language should have an iter an iter method so that you can convert any iterable to an iterator right and another thing is that every iterator object should have a next method so that you can use that next method to iterate over the iterable right so these were the definitions and even if you didn't get um, these definitions totally um, still we can use some examples to understand it so let me just open a python 3 interpreter okay so let me just make an iterable for you <laughs> it's simply at a uh, list right k is equal to 1 2 3 right so what i want to do is that i want to create an iterator so to create an iterator all you need to do is to use the iter function in which you just pass the iterable so i am just passing the list k and if i just try to check the type of it variable it's an list iterator right so it's a list iterator so how to iterate over my list to do that you need to use the next function it's a built-in function in which you just pass the iterator so next it it will give me the first element of the list which is one right and if i again um, do next it what i get is two right and again it's three but if i again just um, execute the next function on the iterator what i get is a is an error right it's an exception which is stop iteration so actually there is no more element to be iterated that's why the iteration has stopped and that's why it is um, causing an error right so an iteration or you can say an iterator becomes useless once it has iterated the complete iterable right so this is how the iterator works and you may be thinking that what is the use of these iterators at all because you have list you have tuple you can simply go through them right you can just do k0 k1 k2 yeah no big deal right but why is the concept of iterator so important so the concept of iterator um, comes pretty handy when we talk about um, the generators so i'll be covering generator in the um, some upcoming videos and there you will see that how iterators are highly useful and highly memory efficient that's a very important thing so we'll cover all that so i hope um, you enjoyed this video you understood something so that's it from this video thanks for watching